Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen and viewers of the World Wide Web. This is Tune215, and we're back at it again, once again, with another walking tour in 4K, except it's nighttime. It's the obvious, right? It's dark out here. And me and my wife are walking. We just walked from North Philly to Center City. If you missed that tour, make sure you go check it out it's on my page. We actually just ate at a Hispanic uh, Spanish restaurant here, a Latin a uh, restaurant called Bar Bonbon. Uh, we did a 360 virtual eating indoor experience there. That's on my Tune B Chillin' channel. T-O-O-N-B-E-C-H-I-L-L-I-N. We just ate there, spent about an hour eating. And now we're walking back. We both got full stomachs. Let's walk right here. Let's make this right, because I want to show you guys this little... Uh, lighting display that's right out here in front of the Comcast Center. So right now we're gonna walk back to North Philly. Thought it'd be a really cool experience to show you guys what it looks like. Check it out. That's the Comcast Center. That's Comcast 1 and that's Comcast 2. The two of Philadelphia's tallest buildings as of now. Check it out. I'll turn here so y'all can see this. This caught my eye. I was gonna continue walking straight where we were walking down, but I figured, like, why not show y'all this? And look, there's a little outdoor eating area over there where people are eating at. There's all these uh, lit up trees. It looks nice. It's currently a Wednesday. It's a bunch of older folks over there eating, dining. Yeah, overall, we had a pretty good experience eating in their restaurant. It was different food to the palate. Yeah, it was a taco spot. That was the main thing that they sold. They sold a variety of tacos. Then they had some other things, but yeah, it was cool. It was on 18th and Samson, right next to one of our other uh, favorite restaurants, right? There's another restaurant right next to it, Hip City Veg, that we usually eat at a lot. <laughs> I actually like that spot a lot, but yo, we were right next to it. I could have got a milkshake. I didn't even <laughs> comprehend that part of it. Yo, me and her were just talking about milkshakes. I swear we were just talking about milkshakes. Cause my fat self was was talking about Yo, we right up the block from 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 a milkshake spot. But I was talking about eleven for walnut, scoop the veil. I was gonna get one of those 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 Oreo cookie milkshakes. But there's also uh, Hip City Veg, and she was like, yeah, and I thought you were going to go to Hip City Veg. I'm thinking she's talking about the one that's on Broad Street, because there's another one right around the corner. No, there was one right next to the spot where we was at. I feel like going back. I want to cry. <laughs> I should have went back. Yo, let me tilt this camera up so you guys can see this. There's going to be a nosebleed right here. Watch. We're next to the Comcast One. Look at this shot right here. I'm just going to walk. I'm going to walk, and I'm going to show you guys this shot. So you guys can see, I'm gonna tilt it a little bit more. Wow. I don't even think the camera does justice. The camera does not do justice for how tall this building is. If you look straight up, like your neck is gonna hurt. <laughs> We're doing all of the looking up for you. Wow. That's cool. Right now we're on 17th and Arch. We'll probably take 17th Street down for the most part. I don't want to walk down broad. I've been down broad too many times. Plenty, plenty of times. Many times too plenty. That's West Philly over there, University City and all of that. We're walking northbound. Over here, we got the cops. We're facing eastbound. And then behind us is southbound. But right now we're walking northbound. There's a little bit of nightlife out here. Most of the nightlife is in the heart of the city. We're actually exiting the heart of the city. We're about to hit uh, JFK Parkway. The parkway, pretty much. With all the flags and stuff. So there's hotels next to us. They got an outdoor dining spot.
the Windsor Hotel. Awesome dog, sir. Awesome dog, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Cool. So if you guys want to see where we're at in proportion to the rest of the city, we got the art museum over there and the Franklin Institute. On my right hand side, we got City Hall Philadelphia and we got, what's that, Love Park. Give you guys an idea what it looks like. If you want to know the time frame, it's 8.17 p.m. Eastern time zone. We're exiting the 100 block of 17th Street. We're not entering the 200 block of 17th Street. We got the two bus stop next to us. We got Friends Select School on my right hand side. Yeah, we're just gonna be walking through the back blocks to get back to North Philly. Once we pass Spring Garden, we're gonna get back to the hood. <laughs> yeah, all this is still like considered center city. So it's gonna be considerably nicer than the hood. Good thing about Center City, they replaced the bulbs. So a lot of the bulbs are brighter in the poles. So the shot is a little bit cleaner than it normally will be. Like in, whoa, my man was putting on a lot of deodorant fragrance. So he was spraying like crazy. Y'all heard that? Somebody was in their trunk spraying tons and tons of, I don't know, some aerosol fragrance on them. That's all I heard was Shh. He was spraying, I don't know, it wasn't even Axe body spray. It was probably like, like Febreze air freshener. I swear it was like a Febreze. It's a nice night though. Weather-wise, it cooled down a lot more than it was earlier. Earlier it was burning. Earlier the sun was out, and we supposed to get like 90s this this week. We're supposed to get our first um, hit of 90s tomorrow on Thursday, and then Friday. It's gonna be a warm weekend. It was like 80 something today, right? I think it was like 80, 80, 80 something. We're next to the Sheraton. Sheraton. That's a hotel, right? The Sheraton, yeah. Wow, you look straight up. Again, it's another tall building. Watermark. It's a hotel over there called the Watermark. St. John Christotum, Christotum Church. Check this out. I'm gonna show this church for the people who actually enjoy churches. Cause I got some people who actually like churches who watch this channel. This church is right here. Albanian Orthodox Church. Keisha Orthodox, Orthodoxisi or, or Ortho something. <laughs> Show put show up tear. I don't know how to um, pronounce that. It's probably an Albanian um, reference, an Albanian translation. Yeah, we out here trying to burn off them tacos, right? We out here trying to burn off them calories, and them jobs probably ain't have no calories because it was because they were made out of cauliflower. <laughs> If anything, we're gonna be in the negative when it comes to calories. We're gonna be in the negative intake. Look at that building. They just made that building, what, like six, seven years ago, right? They just made that building right there. It looks decent though, right? Holiness to the Lord, the house of the Lord. I'm gonna show y'all the Vine Street Expressway. Oh, wow, look at this. That's, that's Ben Frank, right? It looks like his shape. This is the Vine Street Expressway right here. Yep. 
That'll take you to the 95, 76. It'll take you to the west side of the city or it'll take you to the east side of the city. Show you guys another view of the skyline before we walk away from the city. We were just right there next to those two really tall buildings. Remember? You remember, remember? Yeah. We're on the 200 block of 17th Street and we're about to enter the 300 block of 17th Street. So let's continue walking. Community College of Philadelphia, the Free Library of Philadelphia, the Roden Museum, Philadelphia Museum of Art, and the Barnes Foundation is all nearby here. That building right there, that's one heck of a church, huh? And then they got prime real estate. Where'd their funding come from, yo? Right? They're right here on the Vine Expressway. Whoa! Had to dodge the tree. Wow, look at the, the lighting. The lighting looks nice, right? Nice lighting. I'm gonna walk through Community College property right here. There's Community College in Philadelphia right here. We might as well walk through their property. Through their property. Ah, that breeze feels good, right? Ah, that breeze feels refreshing. We finally got a little breeze. I feel like I could walk three times as much as I did earlier. You know why? Because there's no sun out. You know what I mean? Earlier when the sun was out, psh, I was running on E. Like, I was ready to quit. So, you know? <laughs> no, but seriously, I was shining. Like, I was shining. It was hot, hot, hot. Look at those new buildings over there. Probably like luxury apartments. Located right in the heart of the city. Look at Logan Lofts. Yeah, we're in the Logan neighborhood, so. Yeah, Logan Lofts. Pretty much turn an old warehouse into lofts. Newly renovated lofts. All right, we're about to hit Spring Garden, which is some type of progress. Cyclists. If anybody ever needs rocks for their turtle tanks, boom, come to Community College campus. <laughs> you get a bunch of free rocks for your reptile tank. Those are the big rocks. Don't tell them Toon told you. <laughs> I'm gonna have everybody come from all over the USA trying to steal their rocks. I mean, look at the bull Toon 215 told us. Look at you got Channel 3 and CW. That's their station right there, the new station. And then you got Day and Zimmerman, whatever building that is. Look at this down here. I'm gonna show you all this right here. That looks trippy, right? Yup, that looks trippy. You guys wanna see the drop down here? Look at this drop. Look at that, that's a crazy drop, right? And the thing is that it's all overgrown. So you know what type of bugs are probably down there? You know what type of bugs are probably down here in all these bushes? Sheesh. She said her heart is beating when she looked over. She was like, <gasps> <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely a trippy little environment. Look at the little dog. She walking with like a little chocolate doggy. That looks like one of those fried chicken dogs. I've been seeing a lot of those fried chicken dogs lately. I, I call them fried chicken. But that's not the correct <laughs> term. But they look like, you know, you take a piece of um, chicken, you throw it in a fryer with the crust, and it comes out looking all like golden brown and like crunchy. 
there's those dogs that got the same type of fur, like a golden nugget fur. I call them fried chicken dogs. They probably got a correct name though, <laughs> more than likely. That's gonna be my contribution to zoology. <laughs> if I was a scientist, they'd be like, uh, Dr. Toon, what would you like to name this animal right here? I'm gonna say, it's the fried chicken dog. Call it fried chicken. Kentucky fried chicken, in this case, Toonie fried chicken. Philadelphia fried chicken dog. All right, y'all, we on, uh, I was about to say Temple Campus. Well, we up the block for Temple Campus. We'll end up in Temple Campus soon, but we are on Community College of Philadelphia Campus. I used to go to school here. Yeah, I, I, I took classes here for about a year and before I dropped in 2007, and I actually was in this building right here, too. I had classes in a couple of these buildings, in that building over there, in this building over here, the Bonnell building. I went to school here for about a year but lost interest. It wasn't that hands-on and creative for me. I'm an artistic person, you know, a global way of thinking. I like doing things hands-on. My major was arts and design. My secondary was business management. And yeah, I, I kind of lost interest. I wasn't excelling in this atmosphere. Now don't get it twisted. This is a popular school. This school gets over 50,000 admissions to my knowledge yearly from people all over the world all different walks of life, all different nationalities. Yeah, but full-time, part-time, and people who do cyber class too. But it didn't work out for me. So I dropped class for about a year, just pursued work. And then I ended up going to the Art Institute of Philadelphia for digital film and video production. And that's where I got my degree in filmmaking. That was more hands-on. That was more like it for me, you know, video production. We got a green light. Nope, we don't got a green light. Next to the 43 bus stop. But man, we should have just crossed. We don't got a green light, but up. Oh, too late, my bad. Just turned green for them. But hey, look it, we got it. I see you. Union 98. Alright, so we just passed Spring Garden. Slowly but surely, we'll start working our way back to the hood. Go through Central North Philly, and then, yeah. We'll be back in the hood soon. <laughs> A few minutes away from the hood. I'm so thirsty though. I need some water. We drunk this more this super powerful lemonade. I swear it's the most potent lemonade I've had in forever. Oh man, a bug just got stuck to my forehead. That's the thing that I dislike about nighttime too. In the summer or in the warm weather, I swear I attract all the bugs. They be landing on me, they be going in my nose, they be going in my eyeballs, they be going in my ears. If I talk too much, they'll be going right in my mouth. All right, we're about to pass this little outdoor establishment on Green Street. Everybody's out there eating and drinking and whatnot. I 
almost tripped like three times. I almost broke my ankle. They really got to get that sidewalk repaired. <laughs> so my trip? Yeah, I almost broke my ankle. I was walking and I almost twisted it. The ankle, I mean the ankle. <laughs> the sidewalk was so like uneven. Oh, these bugs are tripping though, man. I can keep getting smacked with bugs in my forehead. We're about to hit fair amount soon, right? No, no, we're not. We're on Wallace, 17th from Wallace. Back in the day, Wallace used to be the hood. It was a Puerto Rican neighborhood. This neighborhood, to my knowledge, this was one of one of the um, Puerto Rican neighborhoods that was in the city. Now it's gentrified, like it's been gentrified for many years. And this is like a 700 to, I would say 700, 800,000, 900,000, million dollar neighborhood. Yeah. Yep. It's basically a prominent neighborhood to own a house in right now because it's so close to Center City. So close to the heart of the city. It's close to Community College. It's close to City Hall. They've been got rid of all the Puerto Ricans that live in this neighborhood. <laughs> Messed up. Look at that garage. That's a nice little private driveway. What? I could envision tune right now, fixing cars. <laughs> they would hate me living there. They're like, would you shut it up already? Turn off your generator or your compressor. Doot, doot, doot. They're like, yo, what did this do? Did this dude go open up a traffic shot? I keep tripping over things. I'm telling you, it's these bugs too. They're just smacking me in the face. We're about to pass Mellon Street. 1700 block of Mellon on my left. There you go, now we're on Fairmount. We're on 17th for Fairmount. Let's keep crossing it. Let's keep going, let's keep going. Let's cross it, let's cross it. We got this, we got this. Yeah, as you can see, a lot of people like coming to the city or the heart of the city to dine, to drink, to eat out. <coughs> like recreational space. Nice dog. That was a blue nose pit. I need some moisturizement though. I definitely need some water. <coughs> I'm starting to get quite parched over here. You no know, corner stores around here. But I know right on Broad Street, there's that Sunoco gas station. But then again, we're on 17th from Brown. By the time we get there, we're like half the battle, right? I'm a walker. I'm a heavy walker. So 
you guys might think I'm crazy for walking this walk, but I don't know. I've walked worse, so this ain't nothing. Let's make this right here. Let's go shape the bra shoe. I think it'll be a lot more efficient. Brown. On Brown Street. Uh, look at this new buildings for sale. As you can hear, it's considerably quiet out here. There's a couple people hanging out here and there. But for the most part, it's quiet. Today is Wednesday, though. It's hump day, so maybe everybody's inside humping. Say <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but maybe everybody's in inside since it ain't like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You know what I mean? All right, we're about to head 16th Street. We're going to cross 16th Street. We're just going to go straight to Broad Street. I think it's a lot more efficient. left here and then make a right. Yeah, we're right next to Ridge Avenue. Ridge Avenue cuts in an angle. So if we go up Ridge Avenue, if we go up Ridge Avenue, it'll end up cutting us back. So we might want to wait to after... He's screaming at his child. We might want to wait till after Ridge because Ridge is going to cut us back in an angle. Like in front of us is north, behind us is south. On my right is east. Ridge is going to cut us like southeast, which will take us back a block. So I would rather just go another block or two up and then make the right. It'll, it'll take us straight to the east, which will take us to Broad Street. Well, 16th and Ridge Avenue, they built a lot of these houses here new. Like that building right across the street. You can see on the second floor, there's a dog. The dude is over there with his wife or something. Right there with that light on. They're watching TV. The TV's on. Working on the whip. Oh. We got a fire station right here. Oh, this will be the perfect block to cut east on. You see, because over there, Ridge Avenue was going to take us in an angle. I wasn't trying to go in an angle. We got engine 13 right here. It's a fire station. Look at that TV up there. You can see their television. At least there's nice ambience when it comes to lighting around here. You go to the hood, some of the blocks are super duper dark. That's a lot of the reason why I don't do nighttime tours a lot because the picture quality isn't the best. Yeah. The picture quality, you know, you gotta have a strong low light camera with high ISO that doesn't bring a lot of noise, which is like grain, but doesn't make the footage look grainy. I got pretty good low light cameras, but they're bigger with lenses and all of that. I like walking around with this because it's compact. It's small. It doesn't tire me out quickly. If I pull out the big gadgets, <laughs> the big gadgets don't fit this gimbal. And I got a bigger gimbal. I got a full-size gimbal. But that thing, I get tired after walking like a block with it. <laughs> that is no joke. It's heavy. So this is uh, good for my muscles. I can switch back and forth, left, right arm, left, right arm. But it's not that bad. We're on 15th and Parish. We're one block shy of Broad Street. But we're going to cut left just so you guys can see some more of the residentialness. Because if I go straight to Broad Street, that's kind of boring too. 
I mean, to some people, it might not be boring. But to me, I guess since I lived here my whole life, it's like, you know, kind of gets redundant, repetitive. If that's the correct term we want to use here. For sale. There's a lot of new constructions on 15th Street. That's where we're on right now. We're walking southbound on 15th and Ogden. We're about to cross Ogden Street. We got 1500 Ogden on my left, 1400 Ogden on my right. Passing Second Pilgrim Baptist Church. We're about to pass 1500 Harmer Street. They got back driveways. Do not block driveway, 24 access, 24 hour access is required. Oh, somebody broke some glass or dropped the cup. Somebody too drunk, they dropped the cup. <laughs> they dropped one of the good cups too. The glass cups, the ones that wasn't supposed to be outside. All right, we're on Poplar. Let's make this right on Poplar. Let's make this left right here. Get these cribs right here. Passing Hotel Carlisle, rooms by the day, week, or month. It pretty much looks like a regular home. It's two buildings connected together. It's called Hotel Carlisle, courteous, friendly, and home like. Look at this little con contracting spot. Bruce Contracting. <laughs> Looks so small, right? Like a little compact contracting company. Look, you see the view of the skyline? See the skyline over there, right? This is one of the little uh, venues that they rehabilitated. It's called the Met. It's the Philadelphia Met, and they host concerts, shows, things like that there. They literally just revived this building in 2017, I think. I don't think it's had much runtime because right after they revived it, the whole shutdown was put into effect. But yeah, that building was abandoned for many years. Look at it. This is on Broad Street. We're on Broad and Poplar. Ah, they're playing music. You know why you drawing with that music, Poppy Bull? Drawing. He's like, rock it, 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 rock it. Look at the police. 5 was looking down Texan. <laughs> he was Texan on the phone. Camera on seafood for all you seafood lovers. Seafood, seafood. No Mo Foundation. <laughs> the name of that spot, the No Mo Foundation. No Mo. You ain't got No Mo Foundation, dog. They closed down your foundation. What happened to your foundation? I ain't got No Mo Foundation, bro. What happened to your food? I ain't got No Mo Food. What happened to your sugar? I ain't got No Mo Sugar. <laughs> they named it the No Mo Spot. Yo, can you let me $5? I ain't got No Mo Money, dog. <laughs> Yo, damn, what happened to all these in indigo bikes? Wow, there's only one left? Sheesh, they're all gone. There's be there be people out here sleeping right here next to this CVS. I don't think nobody's out here right now, but as you can see, this is a CVS, or what once was a CVS. It's right on the main street. But look at it. It's pretty much, look at, we're closing. Yeah, they're closed. And then you can get on the subway. All right, let's cross because we got a walking sign. We're on Broad and Gerard. Gerard Avenue. 
crossing Girard Avenue. We got KFC. KFC. And then we got uh, Checkers. This Checkers got closed down too. They graffitied all over that, that Checkers. Yeah, there was a lot more uh, throw ups and pieces on it. Yeah, they closed it down. Look at this sign, what the sign says. It says, stab your local landlord. <laughs> they don't got a good relationship with their landlord. <laughs> they want you to shank them. Yeah, that's funny. Look at that painting, it's a nice painting. Right across the street, there's a McDonald's and a gas station. The gas station, look. Yo, what happened to the gas station? Yo, what happened to the gas station? Did, did they remove it? I've been lost. I drive by here every day and I ain't removed, and I ain't noticed that they removed the gas station. There used to be like a BP gas station there. Whoa, that's crazy. They put No, because I met one time there. Yeah, that's where we did the deposit at. It was at the gas station. It was a gas station slash um, McDonald's. Yeah, that's crazy. Maybe the BP shut down because there's a gas station right here and there's a gas station right on the block. Yeah, so it's pointless to have another gas station. I drive by that so many, you know, every day or every other day, I'm always like, in this area and I always drive by and I never noticed that they removed the gas station. The McDonald's is still there, but the gas station isn't. <gasps> We're about to pass the blood bank. If you want to donate blood, this is where you will come to. <clears throat> Not that, but this spot right here. To my knowledge, somebody that I knew said they give you 50 bucks per donation. I've never donated blood, but this is where you would come to. Interstate Blood Bank. Sometimes when you come here, depending on what time of the month, there's a line out here, people waiting. I guess to donate blood, you know, you know, you get some money. So I guess they look at it as helpful. Maybe they might need food or, you know, pay a bill or maybe they might just want to be a good Samaritan, you know and give out blood, so. There's a Sunoco gas station. And then this laborer's training center right here, they just made that. Yep, there was a football field there. What they did was they backed the football field up by like one block, a football field with a track. And they made that laboring, tra the laborer's training center probably less than a year and a half ago. Yeah. They made a lot of these buildings Like this one right here is new It's a tall building Then this one right there That tall building is new See they got lights up there Somebody up there jamming Somebody having a whole discotheque party up there With all the lights right See how colorful it is Temple students, fully furnished student housing. Oh, that explains a lot. A banshee. He was riding a banshee. That's 350 cc's. Yamaha banshee. That's one of the most iconic uh, ATVs out. Everybody, well, not everybody, but a large percentage of people, especially. Um, off-road motorcycle enthusiasts they love banshees I love banshees too but they cost a f they cost a few thousand dollars and they're not uh, road legal you're, you're not supposed to ride them on the street despite what you see that guy doing he's he, he, he's just taking a risk but um, a banshee you know goes for several thousand nine thousand twelve thousand fifteen thousand depends on Yeah, he was on the scooter. Why he jump off? Why he jump off? Well, he got nervous. <laughs> Should have rode by us. Ring, ring, squad. <laughs> yeah, he did one of your moves. He he jumped off the scooter. He he forgot to have brakes. He just jumped off it. Oh, I tripped. That's what I get. 
<laughs> I tripped and she laughing at me. That's what I get for, for talking about them. <laughs> That's instant karma. Yeah, these, these sidewalks are busted. This is the YMCA right here, y'all. All right, we're about to hit Temple University College campus. Oh, we got some more ATVs. Oh, and there's cops right behind them, yo. Yo, there was cops right behind those ATVs, yo. Yo, the cop was on their tail. The cop was on their tail, like white on rice, yo. He ain't have his siren on or nothing. They was probably scared. They was probably, oh, snap. We about to get chased. All right, we're on Broad and Jefferson. Let's make this cross right here. I'm gonna cross on Broad Street. Let's make this left on Broad. Cross Jefferson. 1300 block of Jefferson to my right, 1400 block of Jefferson to my left. United Bank. Wing stop, the wing experts. Yo, was she burp or she had the hiccups? Yo, I smelled it. It better have been a burp. Yeah. Don't you hate that when somebody burps and you walk right into their burp? Some of the worst smelling burps be like with orange soda. It'd be like, this stinks. I mean, we want to gag. We got the fresh grocer right here. This one is mainly used by college students. I mean, residential local people use it too. But this is on college campus. So, yeah. We got the Rite Aid Pharmacy on my left. That's the AMC movie theater right there next to the Foot Locker and all that. It was right on top of the Foot Locker. They literally just made that plaza too not too long ago. Less than a decade ago. All right, now we're in Temple University College Campus area, which is in North Philly. We already arrived to North Philly. I literally just did a walking tour of this neighborhood on my right-hand side in the daytime. <laughs> you could take a look at my page. I literally just covered this area. I did this area several dozen times, driving tour, walking tour, all types of tours. But I know that's why I'm just mixing it up not following any type of structure. It keeps me entertained too. Big old T. You know what that T's for, right? That T's not for a temple. It's for tune. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Oh, we got a Chick-fil-A, a Chick-fil-A. That draw empty, it's closed. That's probably for the students, for college students. They have their own dining there, Pan, Pan Express. I hear a dirt bike, there's a dirt bike over here. Oh, those are supermotos. I said I hear a dirt bike. That was a supermoto. 
I knew we should have been on our supermoto. <laughs> Next time we gotta go to an outdoor dining spot, right? That's outdoor. They got parking right in front of where we're sitting. So we can park the supermoto right there, eat, and just stare at the bike. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn, their car backfired. I mean, their supermoto backfired. Oh, he pulled somebody over right here. Look at Then that's the highway patrol, too. Yep, highway patrol. You don't play with the highway pa patrol. Those are the the boot kickers. They wear those knee high boots, and they're more firm than the city cops. I don't know why, but I know that they're more firm. There be people over there skateboarding. They over there skateboarding now. There's like a little spot where the locals will come and practice at. He willied on that park bench. I, I called it a willy. <laughs> nice. It's a nice night too for them to, to practice. It's nice breezy, it's not too hot. That goes down to, to the subway. Rock Hall Auditorium. It's the Leah Chorus Center right there. Tradition of success since 1895. Temple Law. Klein Hall, the James E. Beasley School of Law, Temple University. They got a Abe Lincoln there, huh? That look like Abe, Abe Lincoln. That's probably James Beasley. <laughs> oh, that's Lincoln. Lincoln the lawyer. Also, oh, Abe Lincoln was a lawyer. I straight I said that's right, James Beasley. I knew it looked like like Lincoln, but then again, I'm like, why are they gonna call it James Beasley Hall and then have a picture, uh, uh, a bust statue of of Abraham Lincoln out front? Shouldn't they have a Beasley one out front? It's, it's named after Beasley, but hey, none of my business. We're on Broad and Montgomery, still walking northbound. Temple University, as you can see. On Temple campus. I feel like I'm in Gotham. <laughs> I feel like I'm in Gotham where I'm waiting for like Spider-Man to, to sling a web down or something. I'm just staying quiet so that you guys can hear the ambience. 
ันWe're about to hit Pilot Walk, Broad Street, and Pilot Walk. Let's cut right on Pilot Walk, and then we'll get straight to the hood. Baptist Temple made in 1889. Yeah, if we cut right right here, take this straight under the clothespin, it'll take us straight to Burks, and leave us right in the middle of, you know, I was thinking of a big pun line in the middle of Little Italy. <laughs> now it'll leave us right in the middle of the hood. Mitten Hall on my left. This is actual um, Temple's college grounds. It's the most notable college ground that they have here. Beasley Walk. Campus Police right here on my left. There's another, I think, college or two that's in the hood. You got the Community College um, of Philadelphia, the Alany campus. Well, I think it's a little bit further than Alany. Um, it's a few blocks up. I can't think of the, the strip that it's on right now. That, LaSalle got one on campus that's in the hood too. But I think this was probably located like in, in the most hood area. Oh, second time I walked through here and hear that bell. Because if you looked at my last tour where I walked through the same strip, I walked through this in the daytime. So if you haven't seen it, check my page. I literally came through all of this. But it was daytime. So it's funny how last time when I walked through it was daytime, I heard that bell. And now look it, that's the Temple Owl. Walking through at nighttime and I hear the bell too. It's pretty cool. Such an eerie silence sometimes, right? How's your legs doing? You beat? <laughs> she said, my legs hurt. But you're gonna have strong legs. <laughs> She's like, what I need strong legs for? Nah, but it's always good. It's, it's, it's good for the heart, you know what I mean? It's good for our blood, for our heart, good for our lungs, you know? Good for our, for our weight, and not that we're overweight, but, you know, burn some calories, so we burn off, you know, a couple pounds here and there. Walk, you know, an hour, two, three hours every day, what? For a couple weeks, it'll really benefit. There's a whole group over there with guitars over there in the cut. It's like a whole group. I don't know if they're like the temple band. I'm gonna walk right through this though. Would I be wrong if I walk right on top of this? Ah. Now I gotta jump off. Ah, I'm not built for it like I used to be. <laughs> I feel like an old fart. <sighs> yeah, I feel like an older person. I am older, technically. <laughs> but I'm not that old. It's because I got these dang stiff pants on. I need more flexible pants. Oh, they're out on the electric scooter. Okay, it was out, chilling. You seen him? He was out. He, he was doing like a whole 20 piece. 
Doing like a whole 20 miles an hour, chilling. And he had a little system, a little speakers. Bro, that is the craziest thing I've seen, yo. Is he crazy? I mean, I understand it's a BB gun rifle, but he's on a college campus with his son, teaching him how to shoot the BB gun rifle. Bro, take him to the hood. Take him to like a look. Do, do that in your backyard. Yo, you got the kid out here with a BB gun learning how to shoot on college campus. That's crazy. BB guns are illegal in Philly. Like, to an extent. That was like more like an airsoft pump rifle. But still, like one of the daisy rifles. But still. You teaching them how to shoot at a young age. Giving them aim. I mean, I know. I know. People from the country teach their kids how to shoot at 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. They teach them all the hunting skills. But my thing is, like, why he doing it here on the college campus? You know what I mean? Look, let me show you all this little area before we... Spin out, Glad Felter Hall, and then let me show y'all this little sitting area that they got there. Everything's closed, as you can see. That's crazy. And then if the police go by and see them out there with a rifle, you feel me? See them out there with a rifle, even though it's fake, it's like I wouldn't risk it, especially with, with the way. You know, modern day times are going. Guns and young people, young urban pe people. That was a little risky, if you ask me. Like, he could do the same thing like a couple blocks away in the hood where nobody will bother him, you know what I mean? But I guess he prefers to do it here in a wide, in a wide open lit environment where they can see that it's not real. Cause then you go to the hood and you be in a dark block and they see you holding a gun, shooting it, then they're gonna think that but still, listen, that, listen, that's 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 too much risk factor for, for me. Too much risk factor. I'm I'm sorry. Call me, call call me crazy. Call me a wimp. Call me whatever you want. But that's something that I'll do, like in the basement, the backyard, on the roof. I'll go to an abandoned block. Like you know what I mean? You know, for a abandoned factory. Look, she just said a abandoned factory because I had the CO two, um, hollow tip guns before and i took her for target practice right i took her into a abandoned factory though and we was busting bottles and everything right yeah we was busting bottles even though they can't hear you leisure says she can't hear you say no <laughs> <laughs> nah what's up leisure what's up lincoln what's up squad what's up everybody shout out to everybody who who watching but um yeah i took her to an abandoned factory before and we had the place to ourselves we had to worry about you know cops and nothing but to do that out in the public, out in the open, it's a little bit too risky for my taste. We're a minority, so, and then, you know, you're on a college campus, somebody will call the police. There's somebody out here with a gun, you know what I mean? Oh, hell no. <laughs> then the cops pull up, SWAT team deep. I went 10th and Burks. There used to be a whole project right here, guys. A whole project. They knocked it down and now they're making new buildings. I actually got that project on my page when it was up. I actually went through the projects. I did like two videos there on the project. Vlogs. Alright guys, so we're walking right back into the hood, right into the heart of the jungle. Yep. We got Temple University train station right here. This isn't like the regular train. This isn't the subway or the market train. This is the one that takes you town to town. Like you can get to like Burlington, New Jersey. I forgot what this is called. I always get them confused. The regional rail to the Amtrak's. Somebody in the description, tell me what's the difference. I've been on both, I believe. One, I've been to go to Lancaster. That was at 30th Street Station. Was that the Amtrak's or was that regional rail? That was Amtrak's. So where did regional rail take you? Because I did take, I think this to go to um, Burlington, Jersey, New Jersey before the shooter wrestling show when I was in college. We did a live switching of a of a wrestling. It was like 